Okay, we have this light fastened to the wall without a box. So we're going to look, see how that's done. It's not up to code. So let's unscrew this and see what it is. See, they used lamp cord in the wall. That is not up to code. There, that's what I uh, was twisted and taped some wires up above there. So we'll get this off the wall here. And there's how the wires were uh, twisted and taped. Okay, so we're going to get another piece of uh, wire mold up here. Draw this down. Okay, we'll take the uh, sticky stuff off here. Put on the walls it goes up nice and straight here. So we'll break the little tabby out on this here. We'll break this off right here. And a little notch here.
Okay, we'll screw this into the wood here. Nice solid piece of wood. Okay, so we'll slide our proper type of wire up into here. There's a box up here. enough to get over to our box. Strip on the right, is the neutral. Black, which is our live one here. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to fold this ground wire up and we're going to get it out of our way. So we're going to fold it nice and small like this. Like that. And we'll get it back here out of our way. Oh. 
Ugh. Ugh. Okay, I'll make our loops the direction our screws turn. Black on the grass colored terminal here. Well, we won't use that one. If it's on our goals, we won't, we won't, we just can't use it. Screw the direction of screw turns. Tighten our screw up. That's what we want. Put our screws in.
There's a little here. I have to go get a Romex connector. Make sure our letter's not pinched on the side there. Okay, our ground's all together here. Yeah, I'll clip it even with the shortest one here. Yeah. 
you can see the uh, it's a joy just to have to keep pulling around for stuff. See how uneven those wires are there? And they used a stranded lamp cord wire to go to the outlet. And again, I have to go find my flathead. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for making me run around. I praise your name. And this is the little piece of uh, 18 gauge wire they used to go to the outlet. And they put the hot wire over on the silver side and it's backwards. You know what? It doesn't come off peacefully. You just take it off the hard way. That's all you know. You just praise the Heavenly Father and you don't curse His holy name. Got to get a ground tail up here to go down to the outlet.
Why did they put in here? Oh, they put the light neutral in there. That's not right. Uh, it's hard to see. And what I think, Heavenly Father, that I can't see is His glory. That my, I can't look and see. Looking up without my bi with my bifocals down. But you know what? You just praise His name. You praise God. You give Him the glory. You praise Him. And you don't frustrate over anything. You don't curse His holy name. If you can't see something, it's because of His glory that you can't see it. Light layer belong in here with the light layers. I get my tester and see, make sure that none of the white wires are live. And thank you, Heavenly Father. I cannot find that. And so I just truck forward without it and just praise your holy name. Just praise his name. Praise the name of Jesus. There's no other name than Jesus. Jehovah's Son. You praise the Heavenly Father. You praise God. Straight over anything. I just praise your name, Heavenly Father. Praise your name. Praise your name. Okay. We got our white tail here to go to our neutral. Okay. So we'll get them lined up here, get them even like that. Put our wire nut on here, and we'll just twist it on. Praise the name of Jesus. Praise his name. Praise your name. I'm not going to curse you. If something goes wrong, it's to your glory. Amen. It's all to your glory. Heavenly Father, I forgot to put the white wire on, but I'll put it on the outlet. So there's not enough room in the wire. Ah. Praise your name, Lord. Praise your holy name. Praise thy blessed, wonderful name. Praise his name. Praise God. Praise his holy name. Okay, so we're going to put our black and our red on the side of the outlet. Put our two white wires on the silver side of the outlet.
And uh, as far as that cluster goes, it's to God's glory, but I don't know where it is. And I just praise his name that I can't find it. It's just a challenge, that's all. It's not a problem. If I don't find it, I'll just put another one on the credit card, that's all. You, you don't curse, you don't frustrate. It would be nice, so I'm not saying it wouldn't be nice to have it, but if you don't have it, you don't. You just praise God and be thankful. It's His glory that you don't have it. Thank you, Heavenly Father. I praise your holy name. Okay, and you've got white wires. And you want the silver colored screws there. It's tight. Okay, now we'll get our back over here on the grass. This is one that goes to our light. Make sure my connections are good here.
Well, it was hard. You, you, turn, you turn it hard, that's all. Don't fluster it, you just fight it. That's all. Okay, this is what's called a box extension. We'll put it up here on our box. She went, I think she went downstairs. How are you doing, Dave? Good. That light, see that light that was on the floor with the lamp cord? That's what that was hooked up up here, so I took all that down. That was a fire hazard. They had to have one for a fucking light? Yes, they did. It was what a, a fucking idiot. And it was on the wall without a box. Unfortunately, I had stuff in the stockade to put it in a box. And I hate this Phillips screwdriver so much, I could throw it as far as the east is from the west. Well, there's not too much you can do about it. Did you get them locks switched over already? Right? Yeah, I did. <sighs> did you cut all the all right? Yeah. Good? Yep. You didn't put that yellow thing on like you told me. Oh, I can't. The screws are all fucked up. Okay, well, thank you, Heavenly Father, for breaking that wire off for me. Amen. I just praise your holy name. Praise your name, my Heavenly Father. Let's praise your name. But you know what? We will not curse. We will not take his name in vain. Let's take it apart. Pull it down some. If I get a short and trip the breaker, you know what? I get a short and trip the breaker, amen? It's to God's glory. I don't curse that name. One name you don't curse. Short. It's not a problem. I just curse. I don't curse God's name. I praise His holy name. It's a challenge when you don't curse His name. So I'm going to get it in here as much as I can. It may not be sufficient, but you know what? It is what it is. But it went in enough to make a good connection, so I can praise the Heavenly Father. There now it's good. It's the way we want it. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for, for it fitting right. Now we can put our cover on. Make sure our ground wire is not going to touch anything we don't want it to touch. Uh, 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 uh. Now we got our overhead light back in up here. And this is what our cord was uh, 
twisted and taped to without a wire nut going to the light we took down and it was plugged in to that outlet without the uh, box extension on it. So that is how to uh, properly install a wall light here in the country I was born. You never use a lamp cord to put a light on the wall. You use a 14 American wire gauge on a 15 amp circuit or 12 American wire gauge on a 20 amp circuit. Peace. Thanks for watching. Here in the country I was born, black is live, white is neutral, very green is the ground. Red and blue are also live colors. You may find white live in a switch loop. Or 220 240 volt circuit when the appliance is not required in the neutral. Thanks for watching.